It was uh, copyright claimed as soon as it was uploaded by 5 Minute Crafts. This is war, 5 Minute Crafts. Ironically, the people making these videos are fucking hacks. Wu -tang, Wu -tang, Wu oh yes, it's been a long time coming indeed. I've had my fair share of problems with the likes of 5 Minute Crafts, and even though I ended up obliterating them, they're only the tip of the iceberg. I told my Instagram followers to send me mind-blowing life hacks off whatever 2-bit 5-minute crafts clone they could find, and they did not disappoint. But I wanted to kick it up a notch. I'm gonna go through these videos, and for every life hack that I cannot apply, that brings no convenience, that I cannot defend whatsoever, that is absolutely worthless, I'm gonna take a little dab of this hot sauce. And I say little dab because this isn't the Tabasco from Chipotle. In fact, based off the Scoville scale, which measures the pungency of spicy products, this, the bomb beyond insanity, is well over 50 times hotter than that Tabasco sauce. If you're a fan of hot ones or have even tried it yourself, I'm sure you can back me up by saying that this is hot as hell. And yes, I've had it before and uh, it's, it's bad. But I'm sorry, I gotta do it guys. The life hack channels are growing and getting crazier every day. So if it's war they want, it's war they'll get. And if you guys wanna help, I urge you to join the war with War Robots. Real quick, massive shout out to the good people over at War Robots, sponsoring content creators in an era of demonetization and copyright claims. Cause those things suck, but War Robots? After I downloaded War Robots, I decided to try my hand at a few domination games, and it's safe to say that I am the captain now. With a big time game like this, there are millions of players grinding to create the ultimate robot to suit whatever play style they prefer, and they're still not gonna beat me. The robots, the maps, and the game modes are constantly being updated, and the developers already got something up their sleeve come Christmas and New Year's. Think about it, what are you gonna do come the holidays when they play a Christmas story for the 22nd time in a row? Tragedy. How about you? pull out your phone, bless your cornea with rich 3D graphics, and also bless your ears, because I actually really like the soundtrack to the game. Guys, simply put, this is one of the best ways to support me and support the channel. Download the game right now using my link below and get a welcome bonus pack which includes a Destria robot with a unique skin, a full set of weapons, 100 gold, and 400,000 silver. All it takes is one click. Thanks guys. All right. First hack. I think I'm very much underestimating what I'm about to go through. Really? The first hack? Dude, you're endorsing cheating and shitty cheating at that. This is so fucking stupid. Is it really necessary to take off your nail like a Scooby-Doo villain? Who is this helping? Well, what you got there, a whole half an equation? That's really gonna power me through this graph paper exam. If you think this will actually help you, just put the little piece of paper in your pocket. That way you actually have a chance of getting away with it. This guy's got a fucking guitar pick on his finger. Hashtag discreet. Hashtag they'll never know. Hashtag the spy kid's thumb help me pass physics. Okay, now although I was just very critical of that, the hack is defendable, at the very least. It could be useful to somebody who would rather spend their time buying fake nails off Amazon instead of studying. But useful nonetheless. I'm gonna be harsh, but I'm gonna be honest. We got a lot of hacks to go through, and this bottle says, consume one drop at a time with extreme caution, exclamation point. What was that? It's good to know if I would have fucking blinked, I would have missed the entire purpose of the clip. Okay, so even though this is a dope ass prank, it's not a hack. Fuck. So I don't wanna just take this straight up, so I, I have this sad little plate of crackers. I got a glass of milk with me, well, lactate. Lactose intolerant gang, what up? A <laughs> little dab. I'm not trying to prove anything to anybody. Real quick, before I go any further, I've known myself for 24 years, and something I've learned is that I'm a sweaty bastard when it comes to hot sauce. Oh boy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is a, this is a little dab, little dab, Formid formidable dab. If you don't think that's enough, let's see how I react. And, and if I take it, if I take it in stride, we'll up it a little more the next time. Okay. Bone apple tea. Oh Jesus! Uh, I'll go straight for the throat, dude. Fuck. Yeah, that's. <laughs> 
<laughs> totally good. Oh, f <coughs> this is gonna suck. No, 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 this video's not gonna work. Okay, the only thing that really sucks is I don't know how good I'm gonna be at talking throughout the video. It just hurts to talk. No. <laughs> No, stop, 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 stop. Don't tell me that's a hack, stop. No, no! When did life hacks become, this is just a thing you can do when you're bored out of your fucking mind. There's no application for this. This is like when you would stack up the markers in class and have sword battles, because sure, it can entertain seven of your brain cells for a minute, but it's not useful. All right, round two. This is so ass. I ain't afraid of no ghost. That's it. She had shit, that's atomic. <coughs> I just Oh, I just took a deep breath of that shit. I think I have lung cancer. Cheers. What's the saying? Mind over matter? Mind over matter. My tongue is not on fire right now. My throat is not coated in rifle powder or whatever the fuck they used to fill up their muskets with. I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's keep on trucking, baby. I'm okay, dude. I'm okay. A little warm? Okay. Let's move on. Oh, I've seen this video before, and let me tell you, that smiling face will not be there at the end. Hey, what up, girl? I'm a silver. Wear you out. <laughs> I'm okay. Oh, Jesus, lady. If you sneeze, you're Nick Fury. This is what you guys want kids to experiment with? So I just realized, um, those are supposed to be fake freckles. But why would any woman wanna do that? Maybe for like a Halloween costume, which is useful to some. Useful. After every sentence, it hurts. It's like right here in the back of my tongue, Satan's come. But seriously, if you're doing something like this daily, you are a scumbag. Fake hair, fake nails, fake lashes, A-OK. -okay. Those freckles or lack thereof could be the deal breaker. Look, before the freckles, she's cute. Seems a little confused. Life hack channels are holding her hostage. Hashtag prayers for Joanne. But she's cute. Now, after the freckles, you got all the weebs creaming their meundies. I don't even know if that joke makes sense. I just think weebs is a funny word. Ow! Boy said no time skipping to the money shot I see. That was way too quick. You gotta wake me up before I go-go, you know what I'm saying? Seriously though, don't think I don't see this subliminal ass sex sells marketing scheme you got going here. You might be able to fool my brain, but my dick is on break. By the way, I can't prove or disprove the effectiveness of this. So I'm gonna take their word, useful. Troom troom. Make it easy. How much hubba bubba do you think I want at one fucking time? This girl's gonna have a jaw spasm and tooth erosion in the first hour. What's she listening to? Bubba Sparks? Gums and Roses? Sticky Minaj? Pink? I can't defend this life hack. Unless the point of the life hack is to find an easier way to get bullied. Let's step it up a notch, because I feel like you guys are like, Hey, come on, dude, you're taking the hot sauce like a champ. You could kill that whole bottle right now, because you're so strong and handsome. I get it, guys, I get it. I'll, I'll, I'll kick it up a little bit. New drop, two drops. Okay, now that's too much. Okay, that's a lot. Okay, look at that. Your boy's got two drops and even a little splatter on the side. I'm not going to dump the fucking bottle on the cracker, because I want my asshole to make it to 30. All right, I'm going to eat the cracker and go straight into the next hack. Yeah, now what, idiot? You gotta cut the remainder like the rest of us. Fuck me, dude. I can't talk. Ugh. I just can't talk right now. Dude, he fucking keeps going, baby. Oh, fuck. Never felt better. I can't talk with the hot sauce, all the saliva, and the lactate in my mouth. Feels... <laughs> Feels like there's a bukkake on my tongue right now. A bukkake from hell. Stupid life hack? Yes. Useful? I'm sure in situations where people want circular watermelon for their Memorial Day cookouts or whatever the fuck. Ugh. Wait.
Wait, was that something actually useful? Kinda? That's what I'm talking about, baby! Somebody could take advantage of that! Bro, fucking Bo! Why am I lightheaded? This can't be healthy. Oh yeah, nothing like burning plastic, hot glue fumes, and coke residue to spice up my shisha. This girl actually died days after filming. Another victim. The life hacks. Hashtag prayers for the other Joanne. Stupid, potentially dangerous life hack? Yes. Useful? That chick looked like she was having a great fucking time. Can't argue that. What the fuck am I watching? YouTube poop? Am I hallucinating? Who is your editor and why does he hate us? Plot twist, uh, this, this entire video is actually filled with decent life hacks. <clears throat> Was that really all to avoid people stepping on your phone? On carpet? At that, why don't you just tell the apparent apes you're living with to watch their step? Also, isn't the point of this video to show us how to make this? Otherwise, you would've just posted a photo of the finished product, like, wow, who thought of this? But it looks like you wanna give us a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this. And my question is, who the fuck can follow this? I have to pause it every six milliseconds. I'd rather just have a dead phone. No one texts me anyways. This is just a fire hazard in the making. And, speaking of fire, can't defend this one. I think it's time to keep up in the ante, even though I feel like I might have a heart attack soon. One. Oh, that was a fat, not two. Oh no. We don't fuck around here. I'm doing this for you guys. Oh, I'm sweating just thinking about this right now. Try it for yourselves. Stop judging me. This is poison. It's not even good. Download War Robots. You know what my daddy used to tell me? One call, that's all. Oh man. Poker face. Poker face! Oh, this one's creeping! I got no milk left. Foolishly, at first I thought, okay, I've been used to this. I can do it. Can do it. Definitely can do it. I really don't feel good, guys. Play the life hacks. Play them. I don't care. Let's do it, baby. Clean that screen, baby. Oh yeah, the power of Crest. Okay, granted, I haven't seen a lot of panties in my life. This looks like a gay pirate's handkerchief. Why do they look like that? If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Please, subscribe because I have more content coming your way. Shout out to my patrons for supporting the boy. Join and become a channel member today. And please don't forget, download War Robots below using my link. As always, I am Mr. GG. And I am out. Hey guys, um, I, I just wanted to let you guys know that that was my first and last time doing anything like that ever again. I know when people eat something like really spicy, there's this whole meme like, oh dude, they're gonna shit volcanoes. It's not quite what they say, but you know what I mean. And I was kind of just assuming like, yeah, that's that's what's gonna happen to me, whatever. Uh, I'll take a, I'll take a spicy asshole for, for the video. But that didn't happen, which probably sounds like good news to you. But instead, three hours after recording the video, I was sitting here and I started feeling my stomach very fiery, literally. Like someone poured the bomb unfiltered straight into like my intestines. My stomach was warm. I felt the poison just growing. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. And I didn't shit lava. I didn't shit anything, actually. The feeling just went away. And I was like, oh, okay, back to my regular doings. Then another 15 minutes later, the feeling returned. And this time it was stronger, a lot stronger. So I was like, oh, back to the bathroom I go. Maybe this is when I finally get to shit fire sauce. But I didn't end up shitting anything. Um, instead, I was face down in my bathroom in agony for 20 minutes. And when I say agony, I wanna make sure that this is the word that describes what I was feeling. Agony, extreme physical or mental suffering. That's pretty dead on. Usually when you feel some sort of stomach pain, it's like, oh, I gotta poop or I gotta vomit. This stomach pain was neither. Someone just lit an inferno in my stomach and just let it burn. 
like fucking Usher. I wanna make this very clear that I have no reason to lie about this. Why play this up? This is pointless. It was debatably the worst pain I've felt in the last five years. More importantly, cause I didn't know what the fuck to do. I started to reach for my phone to try and search some sort of remedy for like eating fucking hot hot sauce. I couldn't focus on my phone screen. I had to just toss it aside. I debated calling an ambulance or driving to a hospital. I was like calculating the costs in my head. The pain was fucking Horrible. And to all the big balls, McGee's in the fucking audience who were like, oh, dude, you're a fucking pussy. I fucking drink habanero peppers for breakfast and I'm okay. I don't give a shit. Everybody reacts differently to hot sauce. In past experiences, I've eaten like the blazing wings at Buffalo Wild Wings, the hottest ones they got. I've eaten a habanero pepper just straight up. And even though I can say that, yeah, those are hot as fuck, they've never done this to me. I didn't know what to do. I was fucking suffering. My dog was looking at me like, what's wrong? I didn't know what else to do. So I went over and I just tried vomiting and I vomited and I tasted every little bit of the bomb on the way up. And it felt good to puke for those 15 seconds, but the pain did not go away. So I started slamming waters and I was like, oh, this is actually kind of cooling it a little bit. So I proceeded to slam like three to four waters back to back. My stomach felt neutral and I immediately went to bed because I didn't want to be awake anymore. I say all that to reinforce, don't try this at home. I can't stop you if you do it, but you didn't get the fucking idea from me because I'm telling you, don't do it. And that's it. I just wanted to share that update with you guys. Um, here's a pickup line that didn't make it in the video. Hey girl, is that ass a Philly D intro? Cause I'm trying to just jump into it.